Hey, Wolfman. What? Happy Valentine's Day. Please accept my gift. What the hell do you want? What? What have I done? Oh, it's on now, poo boy. Hello and welcome back to another review on the Ken O Wee channel. We've talked about a Sith Lord in the previous video. Today it'll be about a Jedi in training. SH Figure Arts Ray. I'd like to give a big shout out to Japan Toys. Thank you very much for sending this awesome figure over and giving me an opportunity to review this beautiful lady. I'll leave links of Japan Toys website and Facebook page in the description down below. They've got Nandoroids, Kotobukiya statues and more. So anyone living in Aussie, you now know where to get your imports from. Japan Toys and myself have a small announcement to make, so stay tuned to the end of this video to find out more. But first, let's talk about her. So starting with the box, this time only a sneak peek of the figure with the Star Wars logo parading at the front. Ooh, reflective. A picture of Rey at the side and more mention of Star Wars in case you didn't already know. And at the back, plenty of shine on the reflective background. A lot of Japanese words instead of the big bold letters of movable and etc. And a close up of Rey and also highlights of her accessories. So without further ado, it's time to embrace the force. To complete Rey's look, you have to sling this bag over and the instructions suggested to take the entire head off. But you could just remove the face and position the arm upwards and just sling it down but the choice is yours and we shall have the complete look of Ray. I know SHF has had their hit and miss but this doesn't look so bad. So well done Bandai. Her hair is made out of soft plastic which is great cause that allows more head movement unlike the SHF Wonder Woman. And another thing SHF Wonder Woman should have taken note from is the interchangeable face design on this figure. Instead of having the cut at the hair for Ray, it's actually the point where the hair gets tied to a ponytail which is clever and I wish Wonder Woman had something similar then it would definitely prevent looking like she's wearing a wig. See this? Clean, natural hair from her head. This wig. There's plenty of scalp on her clothes, of course. You've got the gun pouch here, which I hope stands the test of time. You could store your gun here, barrels through holes. Soft plastic on this portion of the rope, but harder plastic on the skirt, I guess, to prevent perverts from doing an upskirt. But of course, this prevents leg movements. I know this wrist guard is supposed to be at the top, but it also limits her wrist movement, which is also a minor grab to point out. Overall, in terms of her appearance, not factoring what it does to her movement, she's still one beautiful looking Jedi in training. Moving on to her Jedi Kung Fu moves. Taking away her bag, head and neck is on the ball drawing, so up, down, left, right, pivot, not a problem. Good thing for soft hair. Mmm, so silky. So luxurious. So soft. Arm 360, extend outwards pretty far, no bicep swivel, but she does have elbow swivel but not as smooth as Wonder Woman, probably just needs more time loosening up. Wrist 360, up and down, less on the left thanks to this wrist guard, mid and lower ab cut so all together she can pivot side to side really far. To my surprise, crunch this much and also arch backwards that far. Jedi core. Even though there's cut on the sides of her skirt, she can't split that far, kick up only that far, not much of a back kick, thigh swivel, knee flex, boot rotation, up and down, pivot, and boot toe twinkles. Moving to her accessory, she comes equipped with the Kylo Ren punching hands, hands to hold her lightsaber which I'll mention more later, gun wielding hands which the trigger finger doesn't go into the trigger it just hovers on the side, and face slapping hands and I wish they provided a pair of hands with fingers more further apart to imply that she's using the force. You could use these face slapping hands but it just looks like she's high fiving the force. <laughs> To change her face, as mentioned earlier, simply remove this portion and replace for a facelift and she comes equipped with her I'm not interested in giving you my number face and also another face where it says this is the 20th time you've asked for my number, if you ask me one more time I'll make you pee your pants using my Jedi mind trick. Also seen earlier, she comes with her sling bag, softer material on the sling and nicely painted and sculpted overall. Her pistol, all silver with black highlights, she would definitely be the one to shoot first. <coughs> And lastly, the lightsabers. 
It comes with a pair, one turned on and the other without. Since her lightsaber wielding hands are glued together so it doesn't have any stretch at all and there's these bumps on the saber which prevents the handle from sliding down her hand further. So in order to make her hold it, this lightsaber can be broken into two. And you just slide one side from the top and the other from the bottom and align the pack to put it back together. You could apply the same thing to both her hands. It's just more annoying having to take everything apart, align it, and put the pieces back together instead of just sliding the weapon down her hand. And the other, when it's turned off, of course, it's just one piece, so there's only one way to hold it. Take this saber and throw it off the cliff like it holds no meaning and piss off three quarters of the Star Wars fan, but who cares? You do you, Luke. You do you. Also something to mention, for most of her hands, the hole is located slightly upwards so she could bend her wrist more while wielding her lightsaber. But due to how small the peg is, the hands keep flying off so it's a bit annoying. And here is Rey standing next to other figures. I think SHF height is perfect for female figures but not so much for males. So in summary, this figure still brings a smile to my face. There's still some minor issues that prevents this from being the perfect Rey figure, particularly how her movement is limited by her wardrobe and also the pegs on her hands which is a little annoying, but you still get a good looking figure with good amount of articulation and also a few nice accessories to play with. And before I end my review, as mentioned earlier, in association with Japan Toys, I'll be doing a very small giveaway of the most famous hero turned villain turned hero in the Star Wars universe universe, the Lord of Sith Lords, the badass S.H. Figure Arts, Darth Vader. This is the figure that was released in 2015 and thanks to Japan Toys, one lucky winner will be able to get their hands on this figure. Unfortunately, I can only send this figure within Australia so I really apologize to those who couldn't participate because of that and hopefully in the future I'll be able to extend my giveaways further. So participants in Australia, if you guys want to win this figure, simply head over to Japan Toys Facebook page, link will be in the description down below, like their page and they'll be putting up this review on their page as well. Share the link and leave your comment and in one to two weeks time, I'll choose the best comment from that page and the winner will be announced on my Instagram feed and also Japan Toys Facebook page. You can be creative with your comments, whether it's telling a story or a joke, I'll leave it to your creativity, but please be respectful as well. So good luck, all the best and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing your comments. Thank you guys very much for watching today's review and I still hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please help me leave a like and subscribe to help me reach my 10,000 sub goal and also for more reviews in the future. If you're only subscribing hoping for a giveaway anytime soon, you're going to be extremely disappointed as this is not something I can do often. But if you're subscribed because you enjoyed the reviews and you happen to catch one of my giveaways announcement in the future, I really hope you guys win it because it's thanks to your support that I'm able to do what I do now and I like you guys to receive something awesome as well. Hope all of you are embracing your inner geeks and having a great week. Stay awesome, take care and I'll see you guys at the next video. Click here for video 1. Click here for video 2. Click here to subscribe. Click it. Thank you for watching. Arigato. Thank you.